It's just fun watching Nazis get what's coming to them. An inglorious bastards, an American commando team operating in France whose mission is to give the Germans hell, collide with the French woman's vengeance in World War II. Directed by Quentin Tarantino, this movie is everything you've come to expect from him, including rich dialogue, body humor, extreme violence, and one damn good time. Under the vicious Lieutenant Aldo Rain, a team of Jewish American soldiers is dropped into occupied France to do one thing and one thing only, kill Nazis. They are so brutal, so effective, that their fame spreads through the German lines all the way up to Hitler himself. Shoshana barely escaped her family's fate when they were killed by German soldiers, and now lives under an assumed identity where she owns a theater. When the bastards are given a mission that could end the war in one night, this just happens to coincide with her plan for revenge. This is a masterfully put together movie from beginning to end, and it has to be. It clocks in at over two and a half hours long, but I never really felt that length. I was watching this movie with rapt attention. I couldn't look away. Now, this is a war story, but it also has a lot of heavy, dramatic scenes to balance out the violence. When the movie came out, the trailers were full of the action, so audiences sometimes weren't ready, nor did they like the depth that it had. They just didn't think it was for them, but I loved it. The look of this movie is painstakingly done to feel authentic, but this is no true-to-life war story. Instead, it's an exaggeration. From the determined and hilarious heroes to the charismatic and vile Germans, every character is larger than life. They would be at home in a B-movie, just one that was up for numerous Academy Awards. You know a Tarantino film set in World War II is going to have heaping doses of violence, and this one doesn't disappoint. Now, it's not as action-filled as some may have hoped, but the combat sequences are pretty gritty. The brutality increases as the film progresses to a climax that is not for the squeamish. The good news is, most of the people who die in this movie are Nazis. Two big reasons I'm a fan of this director is how he weaves humor into every one of his stories and he draws these amazing performances out of his actors. Now, no matter how serious this movie becomes or how intense the scene is, you're going to find a lot of unexpected humor. Don't be surprised if you're laughing even when this story gets gruesome. The cast does an amazing job here, and it doesn't matter which side of the story that you get hooked into, which is your favorite, when they switch to the other, you're going to be locked in because the actors are going to hold you there. But Christopher Waltz steals the show as the villain. Not only does he give this great dramatic and at times comedic performance, he does it through four different languages. You have to see it to believe it. But everybody here, from the bastards to the bad guys, knock it out of the park. Whether it's a kick-ass war movie you're after or an outstanding film, Inglorious Bastards will not disappoint. It's a weird, perfect blend of grindhouse action and high-quality drama. To say this one is worth watching, to me, is an understatement.